suicide rates are on the increase in the United States. And one of the toughest things for psychologists to predict is when someone is susceptible to suicide. Well, scientists are now making headway in the search for solutions to one of the most difficult problems in mental health. Harvard researchers, they're looking at patterns of brain activity on MRI scans, levels of stress hormones in the blood linked to suicide thoughts and acts, and they have gotten pretty far in their uh, res results. They're creating computer algorithms fed with tens of thousands of pieces of data, coming up with measures of risk. Well, what they're looking at, Margaret, is their computers are analyzing over 30,000 different risk factors in suicide. Uh, we've seen the suicide rates jumping up. They've jumped up around 24%, 24% since 1999. So staggering increase. I mean, 24%, that's a quarter, almost a quarter of the population. So suicide risks really are a big problem for the United States. So they're looking at uh, around 30,000 factors. Obviously, we know that mental health issues issues play a big part in this, anxiety, depression, all sorts of mental illnesses. But by looking at these algorithms and looking at this historical data, uh, they've been able to detect 45% of suicidal acts on average around three years prior to them happening. That's staggering result. Is it to prevent the suicide from happening or just to give the person, hey, look, this is what's up. You might be at a risk for suicide. Also, is it taking in factors like the economy? You know, Joe, you mentioned this, this spike. I mean, our economy has really been in the toilet the past 10 years. So, at least in my opinion, I mean, there, there have to be external factors besides whatever, whatever's going on chemically in the body that would contribute Absolutely. to the, the suicide. Absolutely. These computer algorithms Dr. Nock, he's the name of the guy at Harvard who is uh, working on this, uh, on this project, and he's looking at around 30,000 different factors in this computer algorithm. Uh, in terms of the suicide rates increasing as much as they are and the factors for that, yes, economy, obviously, uh, the financial... Marriage and uh, divorce, um, the death of a loved one, you know, there are a number of things. Addiction even plays into sure. a risk for suicide. And obviously mental health disorders as well. But if you are able to detect around three years in advance if someone is susceptible uh, to, to being at risk, a high risk of suicide, then doctors, psychologists, psychiatrists, family members can put protection in place, can, can look after this person in a different type of a way if they know that that person is at risk. So, you know, to me, I think the results are staggering. They looked at army soldiers as well, and the algorithm was able to predict around 53% of suicides in that high risk period. So, you know, we've seen things like this before when it comes to crime. We saw pre-crime algorithms. Uh, they started to use them in Northern California uh, where they were able to predict using computer algorithms whether someone was susceptible to becoming a criminal. And it was very, very controversial. Actually, a lot of people really didn't like it because you were stereotyping people, you were mapping out potential criminals. Now we're seeing that they have the potential to do this when it comes to suicides and people at suicide risk. It's, it's an awesome thing. Hopefully you save some lives by, if, if this is put into place and into practice, you know, people using it you can detect if somebody around you is at risk, you can potentially save their life. One of the uh, studies done showed that people who put the words death and me into the same group very quickly, into the same sentencing, the response time on that showed whether they were also susceptible. I imagine that might be because suicide thoughts uh, have come into their brain more readily. But obviously there are a lot of factors involved, stress hormone levels, uh, obviously mental disorders, mental health issues. But uh, these, these computer algorithms, they're looking at around 30,000 30, different factors of risk. And so far they've been able to make some pretty substantial predictions around three years in advance.